dollars. And that announcement this morning and his remarks were based on the Treasury Department's revised estimates of the government's financing needs from uh, for this fiscal year. Uh, the Treasury Department also announced, and the President touched on it this morning, uh, that uh, it will pay down the national debt this quarter for the first time since 2016. So I just wanted to note those items. And then, Amr, why don't you kick us off? Uh, thanks. Um, I had just a couple on um, related to the Alito draft opinion uh, that leaked. Um, just, uh, first, is, does the President believe that Justice Kavanaugh and Gorsuch um, misled or lied to senators about their views on Roe? Well, again, given that while the, while the Supreme Court has validated the document, they have made clear that this is not a final opinion. Uh, so the president, I don't have anything to speak to in terms of his views on where members may or may not be, or Supreme Court justices, I should say, may or may not be on a final opinion. And secondly, um, President Biden again this morning warned that the draft abortion opinion could go beyond the issue and jeopardize other basic rights. And I think this morning he specifically talked about LGBTQ issues, yeah. if I remember correctly. Does he want the court, does he think that this opinion needs to be at minimum narrowed? Well, again, the, the president, as much as he spoke yesterday, uh, both in a written statement and also to all of you who are traveling about his strong views about this leaked document, he's not going to prejudge or have a comment on an opinion that has not yet been issued. What he was speaking to, and, I, and he touched on it again this morning, was uh, his long history working on a range of these issues. Uh, as you all know uh, from his biography, um, he uh, led the fight against the nomination of Robert Bork, and what struck him in reading uh, the, the leaked document was how some of the language reminded him of Robert Bork's view of the narrow definition of how one should uh, 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 analyze or uh, or review uh, what the Constitution allows for. And if you remember during that those hearings, I know many of you, including myself, were quite young during the time, but we all read history. Um, Part of the big debate there, or the big discussion, was the Griswold versus uh, Connecticut uh, uh, case, which was related to privacy and whether married couples should be able to uh, have the privacy to purchase contraception. And so I think what you're hearing play out is the president's own uh, reaction uh, to what he saw in these documents and uh, his view that the protection of privacy and the protection of the ability of uh, women to make decisions about uh, their health care with their doctors about people to be able to choose who they marry. Um, and it, to, to him, reading that uh, reminded him of how important the, uh, those protections are. And that's what he, why you continue to hear him talk about it.